If it's Tuesday, September 9th, that means only one thing. It's time for Comic Book School Live because on Tuesdays, I know, I know. He, he told me, you told me not to read anymore and I never know what to say, but it is Tuesday and we own Tuesdays and today is a very special night, Mike, because tonight, it is focus on the solo. It is a live stream and trivia. And if I'm going to have trivia, I can only have the trivia goddess Ruth from Comnation. <laughs> so tonight, Mike. What, by the way, what what day did you say it was, buddy? Because apparently you got the date wrong. It is the sixth. Six, sixth of the ninth. They're close. Oh, look at that! I even put the wrong date up on the on the. No, people are probably not showing up because they're like, "Oh, it's in a couple of days." Or well, actually, right. in a couple of years. When is Tuesday, y'all? It's like when is Tuesday, the ninth? It's like twenty twenty five, twenty six. Don't sleep here somewhere. Don't do math. All right, look at this. Already, the comments are rolling in. If it's, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, September 6th. Thank you. Know Tuesday. I agree. And um, Redheaded, it gives us a woohoo. This is a full <laughs> woohoo episode, Mike, because tonight we are going to, despite the incorrect date, we are going to focus on you and we are going to answer the questions about everything you ever wanted to know about Mike, but were afraid to ask. How is that, Mike? It's It sounds exciting. You were saying how this will be either... And, and I agree with you, Mike. This will either be the best episode. Wait, no. This will be the most awkward episode or the best episode, but it'll probably be the most awkward episode. Oh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> no, no one's going to care. Very boring. Are you? Do you think yeah. so? Yes. Look I at know. that. Yeah. They, I, I messed up the date. I, I, I know. Aaron, I could use some help. Mm-hmm. 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 Aaron's sure. busy. Aaron is busy. But... But we are ready to get started, Mike. And I think it would be interesting. I, Go ahead. I, full disclosure, I actually screwed up. I do the show at nine, right? <clears throat> I may have said it was Tuesday, September 5th. So, you know. See that? It's close enough. Running the calendar is harder than you think. Anyway, uh, Mike Fasolo, three-time Emmy Award winning writer, a close personal friend of mine, former co-host of a TV show together, movie actor, and all kinds of things. We know who you are. Ruth, what is Com Nation? Just so people who are just entering know what Com Nation is. Com Nation, at the moment, we're, we're comics, we're community, we're connection, and we do a weekly show on Tuesdays because Comic Book School owns Tuesdays, but we kind of rent a corner of it. And tonight, kind of in honor of the, what, 30th, 30th anniversary of the Batman animated series, we're doing a Batman show. Specifically, we are doing uh, Little Gotham. Because that's Little about Gotham. the closest thing. So, where can they Little find Gotham. Con, where can they find Con Nation, Ruth? Uh, search on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. Com or Nation. Nation. So immediately. Or after- hey, or, or. Wait, hang on. I can't figure out on the website that I can't figure out how to point to. So you you your show comes on immediately following this show, and we hope. Yeah, people- we're at nine, so you you're know they get to break. You know. All right. So Close here's enough. here's how we're going to get started, Mike. We're going to start with some simple ones, um, and we're just going to get a little bit of trivia on you, and then we're actually going to see how well you know yourself, Mike. All right. Okay. All right. I, so, Mike. I, and me, so I know myself fairly well, I guess. Born in 1969, Bachelor of Arts in... I'm Am I supposed at, to end? Oh, I'm you know, literature. You, you, literature. Bachelor of Arts in Literature. First published work was in a newspaper, front page article. What was it about? Uh, it was the photo news, and it was about a... Uh, I think uh, one of the meetings in a very small town, not like a, uh, some meeting. <laughs> yeah, you were doing like a local paper. Yeah. But that okay. led to, that led to your job. And, and everybody thinks you started at Wizard. You did not. Where did you start, Mike? Uh, uh, my first job? At, no, in the Wizard world. When you began to matter. Oh, um, I was in the, I was research in Wizard. Research. Was in the research department, yeah. I had to find all the pictures and 
things and posters and all the stuff they used for the magazine. Use the stuff for the magazine. Go ahead. Stuff. And how many times did I contact you for background when I was working for Wizard and other um, things? Apparently two, but I have no recollection <laughs> of either of them. <laughs> <laughs> he has a good memory, Mike. You can't, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, she told me, I think it was last week or the week before where she said, oh yeah, I talked to you a couple times. And I was like, I, sorry, I don't remember. When, when you had long hair. When I had hair. Speaking of, uh, Ruth, um, Ruth provided us a, uh, a quick overview of your hair, Mike. <laughs> that's not you in the middle, Mike, is it? That is me. Yeah, that's what, yes. that's what, yeah, can you? What years were you sporting these hairstyles? Can you Oof, recall? Man, the the middle one would have been in uh, probably when you were a Brett girl. Yeah, yeah. The the, <laughs> like the last was one taking a Taco Bell or something. Where was that? The last one was yeah. That was probably just a few years ago. Yeah, that middle one was a good years. <laughs> All right, Mike. So true story. Uh, Mike, your uh, your your deathbed meal would be at Taco Bell. What would be on your deathbed meal from Taco Bell? Um, my deathbed meal would probably be the uh, three tacos uh, locos, the ones that are made from the the nacho cheese mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, those Is there are any awesome. drink and, fries, and the chips? and the uh, I would get the chips and the the cheese dip. All right, good. So when did you start Wizard? What year? I think it was 94 or 95. 94. 94. <laughs> and I'm not somebody knows. 90, 90. Yeah, 90, 94 sounds about right, because 94 was about when I, late 94 is about when I started. Uh, You're not late, Glenn. We're just getting warmed up. The, the best part hasn't 90, started yet. Yeah, late 94 is about when I started um Freelancing, so that seems about that right. You I called you, Mike, and you didn't call me back. Yeah, Mike, when did you conclude Wizard? Uh, I concluded Wizard in 2001. And where did you go from there? I went to a uh, I... coupon reading company in Westchester. I was reading uh, um, coupons for a supermarket chain, Crasdale. You gave that up? Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah. And went to? I went uh, from there to a lumber company called Oh, Stover I thought it was right to, right to, uh, to Robot Chicken. Uh, Robot Chicken was after uh, the lumber company. And what year was Robot did, Chicken? Did Robot, did Robot Chicken take coupons? Oh, they, they may have. They did. They, did, they didn't need me to, to proofread them, though. They had their own proofreaders. All right, Mike. Uh, Robot Chicken uh, came out here uh, for Robot Chicken in 2004. 2004, and you drove cross country yes. in your Blazer, which incidentally you still have, right? No, I don't have the Blazer. Oh, you don't anymore. have the Blazer anymore? No, I got rid of that a few years oh. ago. Yeah. Does he have a jacket? No Blazer? No, different, different kind of Blazer. <laughs> oh, no, he's got a robe, not a Blazer. I have a robe, no Blazer. All right, Mike. So here's where we get to see how well you know yourself. Uh, Ruth is allowed to play along. And the audience is also allowed to play along. I see Juan, Aaron, Glenn, and possibly somebody else. I don't know who it is. Um, but when, if anybody uh, knows answers that you don't know, Mike, uh, they get points. Okay. And you'll be are, saying, are, there, are these points going to be added up so they can uh, ask you questions and have you come to their house and like mow their lawn or something? Uh, that's up to Ruth. Yes. She is the trivia uh, goddess. Okay. Yes. Ooh. If they get Ooh. enough questions right, they can come to your house and mow your lawn. Do I get points for getting things right about myself? No, they only no. get points. If they get enough points, they get to come to your house and do yard work. Oh, okay. All right, Mike. They are have you to ready? pay for the airfare, et cetera, all on their own. But once they show up, they're absolutely allowed to do yard work. All right. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Oops. Nope. Not extra camera. Wrong button. <laughs> extra window. Window. All right. We call this part Mike on Mike trivia. That's not <laughs> awkward at all. All right. Mike on Mike. <laughs> 
used to be Mike on Ike, and now it's Mike on <laughs> okay. Ike. Okay. Okay, Mike, first question. What season of Robot Chicken was Mike Fasolo's treehouse? And Ruth, just for uh, just for effect, um, this is Mike. He sits down uh, to uh, tinkle. He sits down to pee. And the monkeys make fun of him. And Mike goes into a homicidal <laughs> rage, uh, which does not end almost at all until all the monkeys are gone and he can pee in peace. Should Mike sit down to pee? Is this like something you know from the wizard days? Everybody sits down to pee, don't they? <laughs> All right, Mike, what's your answer? What season? I'm going to say season seven. You would be wrong because it was season six, <laughs> episode 12 of Robot Chicken, Mike Fasolo's tree, uh, Treehouse. Uh, you read the description. Evidently, Mike Fasolo did not react well to being teased about sitting down when he pees. So there you go. And by really... the way, you are also wrong. Not everyone sits down to pee. Really? No. Huh. Hmm, weird. Well. <laughs> All right, really? Mike. Are you ready for the next question about yourself? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Ruth, did you have an answer? Did you want to answer? Yes, season, season six. six. <laughs> season six. Season six. Ruth got a point, Mike. Yes! All right, here we go. Um, up, oh, hold on one second. Uh, I believe. Uh, let me stop sharing. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing uh, because Mike, we have a pop-on guest, and uh, it is a pop-on guest from your past. I am going to bring said pop-on guest on. Pop-on guest. Uh, give one clue about who you are so that Mike can guess who the pop-on guest is from his past. Hello? Hello. We can Hello? Hear Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello? That is, is this, that is is this the, thing on? That is the clue. <laughs> Hello? That's the clue. I know exactly who that is. Who, who would that be? That is Greg Orlando. Greg Orlando. <laughs> So it is hey, Greg. Greg Orlando. Hello, everyone. It is Squeeze Those Monkeys, lad. So, Greg, thank you for joining us, for being uh, Mike's uh, lifeline. Um, you're dialing in from uh, sunny Long Island. Is that right? Yes. And uh, you visited the Fasolo Ranch. Am I right? I did twice. Yeah. Twice. I visited... Did I visit two times or three times? I think you're, you're falling there, behind. You're at least two. I think we might be two and two, Greg. We might have to maybe descend on there together. <laughs> I'm well, moving you. Room. <laughs> there I'm, I'm coming room. with so I can do the yard work. You could. After there's not the much game. yard work to do. There's, it's not California. Much yard. there's not much yard. It's just stones. <laughs> good. Even better. She's like, good. I'm done already. So, Greg, how did you uh, how did you work with uh, with Mike? Oh, gee, I met Mike at Wizard a long, long time ago. Many moons ago. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we were on the same lunch crew, and we would, we would go eat Taco Bell every day, and we would, <laughs> we would complain, because <laughs> that's all we did at Wizard was complain. Yeah, we would ride and in the, go... the old van. And we, get... we would ride in the death that's van. Around. Yeah. <laughs> And then you would both go to the bathroom and pee sitting down. Yeah. No, I use the secret bathroom. Mike would. <laughs> Mike used the upstairs bathroom where the cool, you know, the cool people went. Cool kids were. Yeah, there were more. The cool there was more went bathroom, to sit, to more sit down. space upstairs than there was downstairs. For yeah, sure. yeah, the men's bathroom downstairs was a, a trap. You you would go there and it would be like a you know like a, a landfill you know like a. a it would be like a, a you know, a, a, an APA danger site. Yeah. So uh, there was a secret bathroom in the warehouse. And uh, if Donato was feeling, you know, generous, he would let you use the bathroom. <laughs> you didn't want to cross Donato. You know, you never... didn't have any air circulation, I might add. So you didn't want to spend a lot of time in there because you could be sweating. <laughs> moments. You know, I got it. Since we're, we're here, it's like the two, three times I actually was at Wizard, I was like literally the only one in the women's bathroom. You were at Wizard too? And you didn't just call in? 
You're actually there? Uh, like twice. Two, hmm. three times tops. Yeah. Oh, they thought it was going to be Chris Ward. Wanda Villa thought it was going to be Chris Ward. I didn't. No, no. This is Greg. You should. You, uh, to, oh, you don't have your name up. This is Greg Orlando. There are uh, people from the Wizard podcast that were excited to uh, see uh, Mike and uh, some special guests join us tonight. Yeah, I'm not very special. You're very, very special. special. You're oh, very special. I'm unspecial. We think you're. <laughs> your mama says you're a very special angel. Well. Yeah. That's debatable too. <laughs> anyway, Greg, I no. am going to uh, kick you back uh, out into the Ethernet, where I hope you continue to watch the show and see mm -hmm. and, and log into either the tubes of you or the Facebook and play along and see if you know Mike better than Mike knows Mike. Cool. Thanks Sounds for coming, Greg. Thank you so much for being our pop on guest. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <Goodbye. laughs> All right, so we had a little surprise guest there for you, Mike. Oh, uh, that was awesome. That was good, I, right? I haven't I haven't talked to Greg since yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I thought yeah, like yeah. We play uh, online um, some video games and stuff like that. All right, Mike. Next question is: How many Mike Fasolos are there on LinkedIn? Oh, I'm gonna guess five. Ruth, what's your guess? <laughs> now the studio audience should feel comfortable uh, uh, betting against Mike. Uh, Ruth, yes. I'm going to go with nine. Ruth's going to go with nine. Anybody in the audience want to play along? I guess not. And there are nine like Mike wow. Solos on LinkedIn. Was that a uh, wild ass guess, uh, Ruth, or did you Google that? Uh, I use LinkedIn a lot for my for my actual paying job. So yeah. Well, Ruth now has one point, and you literally she has two points. I she have, got she got the season, and she got how many of do you? They, are on do they have better jobs than I do? Well, a guy. Well, first, Mike Fasolo is director you, of operations at Amazon. That's Mike. nice. And he kind of looks like you. Like he could be like a cousin or something. I gotta say, am I wrong? I don't know. I blurred him out. I, I, I can't see his picture. I do see that the last one at the bottom uh, works at Das Egen Lieben Nachstunden Umgarten mit Sinn. So that's a, that's a great company. He probably has a better job than you too. <laughs> Just saying. All right, Mike, you ready for more trivia about yourself? Um, you don't know I yourself as well, as well as you thought, did you, Mike? Apparently, I don't. I don't know myself at all. All right, Mike, what is your net worth? Uh, oh, <laughs> there's a net worth for me. There is a net worth. Take a wild guess, Mike. What is your net? Now is this is just that that net worth dot com site, right? Mike, um, I'm gonna okay. So gonna, it has to be true. I I you know my net worth. Worth I'm gonna true. guess. I'm gonna guess that they think my net worth is five million. Ruth, what would you say Mike Fasolo's net worth is according to uh, these net worth calculators? Do you have anything in your pockets right now, Mike? Like you got like a couple got a, of got a lot of loose shoes. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, Ruth. You would be incorrect, Mike. You'd be the closest. They put you between one million and eight million, which I would say is a pretty big range. Which I would Drinks wish are I was on Mike. That much. Drinks are on Mike. That would be awesome. Right? Like, we go to you Mike's, mean, and he's always like, uh, oh, turn his pockets inside out. He's like, oh, I got no money. Even if oh, I was at one four. million, I would be happy. What was that? Oh, Even look if at I this. was at one million, I'd be happy. That'd be great. Look at that. Somebody was said, that $7 oh, seven was with, with regards. I missed the others. Um, McSafety, hello. Hello. <laughs> and number 3.50. Oh, he thought maybe 3.50 million, I think. I didn't see the uh, Ruth, if you see uh them things coming up, you let me know. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. I oh, didn't wait, see hold on. Either. This is this is uh the other Mike Fasolos. Ruth is literally building a slide deck <laughs> of the other Mike Fasolos. Huh. Mike, you yeah, I gotta tell you. You kind you kind of look like this one. Well, Am I wrong? Could be related in People? some way. Yeah. This one, this one, the one in the middle, not so much, but like you know, the other two, I could see it. I wonder how I much they're worth. I We would have to look them up. But um, he meant 350. 350. That's 50, right? All right, here we go. So now we're going to go on to the next que question. Mike, are you surprised at how little you know about yourself? I, I'm, I'm quite shocked. <laughs> Mike, are you surprised by how much you're worth? 
Are you are you still I, having fun, drinks Mike? Are on I Mike. wish I wish drinks I was worth that Mike. much. Drinks are on Mike. All right, Mike. Uh, right? On, on the left, you can see the original page for this. It asks, "Is Mike Fasolo dead or alive?" So I ask, "Is Mike a zombie? Hmm. Are you dead or alive, Mike?" Um, inside or outside? Because I'm definitely dead inside. It is. Uh, yeah. It is uh, true, Ruth. What, what do you do? You think they think Mike is dead or alive? I think they think Mike is alive. According to our data, by Mike Fasolo is still <laughs> alive. So we're feeling good. Ruth is like three I, points. Thousand. I'm I'm there mowing your lawn, baby. And Mike, you I have am... you have now one uh, correct answer. <laughs> you get your net. Well, but, I would give your. But safe money says dead, at least inside. Apparently. I would say I would say you get two points, Mike, because you did you did get the range of uh, yeah of your. Of, so you have two, and Ruth has one. All right, here we go. Another question about Mike for the Wizards fans out there. What episode did you appear in in the Wizard podcast? Uh, this wasn't that long ago. No, um, it was not that long ago. Episode 317. Ruth? Um, episode... Same <laughs> way he says dead. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't gamble. Um, inside, Glenn. How, inside. how many episodes of the Wizard Podcast are there? Um, a lot. I'm going to... Uh, Juan, how many Wizard episodes... How many... Well, we'll just... Well, J Ruth, you got to pick. Give me a number. Sans 14. Running. 14. Ruth knows all this. She's cheating. She's Googling. <laughs> <laughs> you did indeed uh, appear in the episode number 14, and you did a very good job. You Thank were you. Uh, You're very articulate, and so I'm told I didn't listen to it myself. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why anybody would. Yeah, there you go. There, you Juan said there's a lot of those episodes. Okay. Ready, Mike? Here we go. One more. More than 14? Okay. <laughs> so Mike will know the uh, name of Mike's podcast. I will. Um, yeah. But Mike, do you remember the last podcast that you did, the episode number and or the date? I can tell you what movie we did. Um, it was uh, Source Code. Oh, no, we didn't get that one up yet. So the one before that. Um, All right. What episode? I'm going to guess episode 26. Ruth, what are you going to go with? Uh, 14. It is episode 26, June 12, June 17th, 2021. Uh, we're waiting with bated breath, Mike, uh, for the next episode. Yeah, well... <laughs> Marty. Also, yeah, Hello. yeah. Hello? Um, buddy, if you have bated breath, maybe brush, some flossing. These things are, you know, dental hygiene is important. People can die. We what actually happened? did another episode on source code, but Russ okay. hasn't edited it yet, so it's not up. <laughs> How many busy, podcasts do you do, Mike? making money, Mike. <laughs> I know. What kind of friend is that? Okay. Here we go. Going to get a little tricky on you, Mike. Oh, yes. Uh -oh. Mike DeSolo, as everybody knows, has won three Emmys for television. How many has he been nominated for? Uh, Look at Ruth. Type and type and type and type and. I'm not typing. I mean, gonna... you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not typing. <laughs> yeah. Mike, you don't even know how many you were nominated with. Is, has it become that? I'm going to guess. Commonplace? I'm going to guess nine. Ruth? I don't know. It was 14. The correct answer is Mike was nominated for 15 <laughs> Emmys and has won three. So 15 Great. nominations. Neither of you get a point. The audience all gets a point <laughs> for having this. Everyone how gets do you a not point. know how many times you've been nominated for Emmys, Mike? Because it's just a nine wasn't even close. <laughs> It's How just come you, know, you, you just know. get that little piece of paper. <laughs> but isn't this a big deal when you get nominated, or is it just like, is it now like the PSC and G bill? Like you're just yeah. like, well, oh, maybe here's like the electric the, bill. 
they say Maybe it's an person. honor to get nominated. And what is it for uh -huh. you, Mike? That's what they say. What do you say? That's what they say. That's I'll go with what they say. Do you, do, you, do you take the piece of paper and take it into the restroom where you piece uh, sitting down and then put it to good use? I mean, it's, you know. it's all it's all over the restroom. So when I'm sitting down peeing, I can look at it. But Mike, you have been indeed nominated for for 15 TV Emmys and won three. That's a pretty good statistic. That's pretty good. You're pretty you're, good. It's not bad. Yeah, you're yeah. It's not bad. You're a hitter. All right, Mike. Buddy, how many buddy, how many Emmys have you been nominated for? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Okay, Ruth. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, you get a range, your highest rated mm -hmm. percentage of your work to your lowest rated. Without looking, Mike, what is your highest rated work and your lowest rated work in percentage numbers? So 50%, 60%. So what they do is they say your highest rated, you get a you know zero to a hundred percent, and your lowest rated is zero to a hundred percent. Highest rated for Robot Chicken or just for you as a writer, as a creator? Oh, I didn't know they did this. Um, they do that. I'm gonna go. My highest rated is fifteen, and my lowest is one. Ruth, do you wanna? Would you like to uh, throw a number out there? It's a percentage. I, I mean, it's Rotten Tomatoes and, you know, for what Mike does, I believe they, 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 they value and appreciate. So, you know, uh, 85 to hundred, that's what I'm saying. All right. The correct answer is Mike is highest rated show is 100% and lowest rated <laughs> show is 100%. Consistency, Mike man. You are, you were beloved on Robot Chicken rather on, uh. On uh, whatever this thing is, Rotten beloved Tomatoes. and hated, <laughs> beloved and be hated. Uh, that's weird, isn't it? Like I looked yeah. that up. I had to look it up a couple times, and I realized, indeed, one hundred and one hundred. So you, yeah, but 100. it's for the same thing. That's weird. It is, but it it that that's your lowest rated. That's your highest rated. Okay, almost right. to the end. Mike, what was your first post on Instagram? Aww. What did you post? I think it was, was just it a you picture sitting of down me. at the restroom. I think it was a picture of me just in it a was and was it was it that was it that um passport photo of his that's floating around? No, no. yeah, it was just in, in the writer's room. And Mike, it Aww. was 474 weeks ago. <laughs> and then 438 uh, weeks ago, Andrew Carden said he missed your hair. I missed my Aww. hair too. But Mike, well, again, your first, my first Instagram pick, 474 weeks ago. Wow. Wow. How many followers do I have? Uh, currently, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. We're getting to the end, Mike. And, and for go. those of us, uh... <laughs> Mike, how many words per minute can you type? You, you set a record and then immediately broke the record. So do you want the 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 highest record? Yeah, what was the the high? What that what would be five hundred and one. Five hundred and one. That is right. I, unfortunately, I thought I'd get you with the uh, with the fact oh, that no. it's five hundred. I know I'm that gonna, one. I'm going to share this one uh, because uh, I own this video. So we're and I have to... a I have a question for you after you show it, bud. All right, here we go. And what? Watch how the screen just blanks out on us. Okay, go ahead. This is 500 first. 500. Right, 500. <laughs> Look at that hair! 500 words, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that was 500. But oh, wait, we're going to do better. We're going to do better. Mike's going to try and beat it by one. Just oh. one. Just one? Just, one. Just, just by one. Okay. Right. Right. One. Oh, Give it everything you got, Mike. Oh, I'm counting now. Ready? Oh, sure. 501! He did it! He did it! 501! What? Now, now, but we we did that show for quite a while, and we usually had some some pretty good props occasionally. Why didn't we just get a typewriter? <laughs> we could have taken it from the office. I, <laughs> I don't know, but you 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 were with it. All right, there we go. We got we. I think we have two more questions, Mike, and we're almost done with the uh, the most awkward episode. It's awkward, isn't it, Mike? Not knowing the answer about I don't your know the answer life. to half of my life. All right, nice. the correct answer was 501 words per minute, Mike. 
All right, here we go. <laughs> In this episode of the B Files, I Mike... remember the B Files. Oh my god! Uh, Mike, would you uh, would you like to say the names of the characters? Uh, uh, Moldy and Scummy. That's right. <laughs> Older was Agent Moldy, and Agent Scully was Agent Scummy. Uh, Ruth, I, you you saw this? Yeah, because you would um, give it to everybody. Well, you would, but you would play it. At, okay, y'all, when you would hang out with these folks socially, like going to you know someone's house or whatever, they put this stuff in the. You know, they play it along you with did? you know how and, embarrassing. Yeah. All right, well, I do have a clip. Mike, what was the name of the tribe that you said in this? I wrote the, the first, oh, man. and I and you had to memorize it. Aw. Mike, what was the name of the rare tribe that you talk about? Uh, the, the rare tribe. No idea. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go. Yep. I mean, I've never heard of a grown man being turned into a sandwich. There is no medical data that supports this type of occurrence. Scummy, the medical data doesn't always register the type of occurrence that our department uncovers. You mean a cover-up? What, are you paranoid? No, I'm just writing that one. That's okay. Actually, what I was getting to was in something I read about while I was perusing an article in the magazine. There it is. Well, do you actually read this? Mainly on the John. I read recently that there's an ancient tribe in New Guinea that performed an arcane ritual called the Flabba Flabba Do Wabba Wabba. It was an ancient chant that supposedly when coupled with the appropriate... All right. But was, was, that, the, was that the tribe or was that just the... The, the Flabba the, Flabba Do Wabba Wabba. I, I don't remember. But it was so ridiculous that I can't even remember it, but I did remember... Was that Sh Sh Chicago show? I think it might have been. We might have shown that one at some point at Wizard World Chicago. Somewhere. Really? I think we might have. Huh. And then he also, he had a note. He remembers Andrew Carden. He rejected me when I sent in my writing submission. To be honest, I had no skills and apologized for wasting his time. I just did it to do it. Well, you know what, Juan? To know oneself is graceful. Right? <laughs> to know oneself. So, Mike, it, the correct answer was the flabba flabba do wabba wabba. And I, I have a I few photos. That. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't remember that. I have a few photos, if you don't mind. I will share. Wop do wop. Uh, here are a few share photos. Away. Now, for you wizardites, <laughs> these were all shot at Wizard Ruth. Uh, this was in the conference room where we would be tortured every Friday. I, I remember Pamela. Yeah. No, this is oh, oh Pamela Anderson, there. right? She was in the and yeah, then had yeah, an yeah. uncut cut sheet. And this was by the warehouse, right, Mike? Yep. By the back by the warehouse. It was in the in the lobby. And then here are two more. This was Mike wearing a very heavy yep. phone as a public telephone. That was supposed to be a government issue telephone. Right, Mike? And then uh, yes, this yes, is you yes. at the bottom of the of the steps. That's my uh, cap gun from being uh, uh, in middle school. And uh, those are the wizard winding stairs. That was amazing. Nobody had ever fallen down those. Yeah. Oh, somebody did fall down them. They did. Yeah, there's Pete photographic Flood. proof. Pete Flood fell down those stairs. Pete Flood. <laughs> he did. Pete Flood. Pete Flood fled and fell. He did. He fell those down are the stairs. Steep steps, right, Mike? Those are pretty. Yeah, there it was a it was a good and, fall too. And they were and they were they were slippery, if I'm remembering. Yeah, we used to grease them up so they were always kind easy of easy there, easy there. <laughs> Some special thanks to our friends at Com Nation, where you can watch their show <laughs> after this show at 9 p.m. Uh, just go to Com Nation and look for the link. Looks like we have a couple this questions. This week we're doing yeah, this week, Lil Gotham, next week, Zorro, hold the tamales. Okay, so he recalls seeing the B files. All right, he is still scarred from it. I know. It. I'm sorry to hear that I, one. I don't remember who was the who was your female lead. Nikki Wooster. 
Okay. Yeah. Nikki Wooster. And um, hold on. Glenn had a question. Mike, so did Mike write the risky He-Man skit, Grizzlor and the Secret of the PBS for Robot Chicken, which ends with He-Man Free Jazz Night? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't <laughs> really you know what that episode but, is. But Michael, <laughs> Michael, if you did, could you be sure that you would remember it? Probably. I mean, if well, you don't no, remember, I, I, honestly, there are if some. If you don't remember, don't Papa, remember. Papa, Papa, Dewappa, Wappa. I mean, really, who could forget that? Mike, how many of those? Uh, how many points? Oh, there you go. I recall Pete flooded, <laughs> and he had <laughs> hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Just um so Pete flood fell and fled he did i'm just gonna say it that's a tongue that's a tongue it's like a nursery rhyme okay i think we should you know exit with the ode to the hair oh uh, yeah there you go all right that's guys uh hair. next week this um next week i will be on the road so ruth will be taking over okay I'll be giving you guys some information on the website. Uh, this week, I'll be announcing uh, the panels. We've been approved for panels. Oh, wait, what was this? Fair enough. Oh, he was referring to the Grizzlore and the secret of the something. I don't even want to pronounce it. <laughs> That's, that, that was it. And he said, fair enough. It's pretty gross. So anyway, um, this week, I will be announcing our panels uh, and what day's comic book school will be at New York Comic Con providing you with uh, edutainment and excitement and thrills galore. Mike, will you be coming out for that event? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Ruth, will you be able to scam a ticket at some point? I I don't know. Scams are underway. But Combination is going to be at Baltimore, a little further down the coast. So, you know, Baltimore Comic Con, which is pretty much Halloween weekend. Mm -hmm. That's and my birthday weekend. Is it really? It certainly is. Huh? We're gonna Baltimore is gonna have the Disney princesses, Frank Miller, uh, Jim Lee, um, Jamal Eigel. Um, I, won't, I won't be there. You won't be there either. Uh, no. Why not? All right, Mike, thank you for joining tonight. First off, thank you, Ruth, for coming on on short notice and uh, loaning me your your deck. You have a beautiful deck, and I appreciate your. <laughs> yeah buddy I, I buddy i will always send you deck picks you know thank you deck picks are perfect for the win thank you ruth and uh people should go watch com nation right after this ruth wait backstage we'll see you there eat all the twizzlers that you want so what do you think mike um i think i don't know myself very well it was a weird thing. I just, I was, it was rumbling in my, uh, in my loins for a little while that I wanted to do this uh, episode that focused on you. A lot of people don't know that you had such a high net worth. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> they all got right that you were not dead, right? Very true. Very, Very true. true. So what'd you think? Was it, it was weird? I thought it was, it was fun and weird. And it was a, uh, it was a little uh, flashback of, of my good old days. So uh, you had noted before we started, maybe we'll show a few Comics Vision clips yes. and a few B-File clips. Uh, Juan probably has already been scarred enough. He will probably be too scared to watch. Uh, but one day I think we should we should show it. We should, yeah, well, we definitely should show it. I mean, it's a half hour, so we might as well just show it here. Yeah. So, well, Mike, thank you for joining. Uh, pretty soon we'll be getting back to regular comic book school education because September is the time for education. This was just our summer fun. Um, but we are going to be doing an episode coming up soon, so people get your ideas ready. Uh, the most absurd movies that we love. Right, Mike? The core. The core. <laughs> well, you can cheat and tell them that the core will be in there because the core will definitely be in there. <laughs> so, Mike, thanks for joining us. I will see you, or I won't see you next week. Uh, Ruth has already graciously accepted to be play the part of Buddy and... Good stuff like that. Hold on, Ruth. Give him give the woohoo. Woohoo. Woo. There you go. See that? <laughs> woohoo. <laughs> All right, Mike, wait backstage. All right. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I know that uh, the summer was full of fun and frivolity, uh, but it was really just about relaxing a little bit. Uh, September is here. 
and October is coming, which means it's Comic-Con time. We do have uh, three comic book school events. I'll be announcing them this week uh, and guests and additional guests um, and, and, and other fun things will be added to the agenda. So be sure to check out the comicbookschool.webcam webcam website. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Buddy Sclair. I hope you had some fun tonight and we will see you next Tuesday.